Brian Clough and Peter Taylor brought their Forest side to Highbury for the opening game of what would be their championship winning season. They faced an Arsenal side who'd go on to reach the FA Cup final before losing to Ipswich Town. Brian Moore is your commentator. Here we go then. Arsenal attacking the goal to our left in their familiar red shirts with white sleeves. Nottingham Forest in a chain strip of all yellow. Here the question is just how good are Nottingham Forest after this brilliant start. Arsenal today might present something of a yardstick. McDonald sending Stapleton on his way. But a good challenge there by Viv Anderson. Howling. Certainly confidence uh, should be bubbling around this Forest side. You can see with only one goal this season. There's Graham Ricks. A long, long pass towards Malcolm McDonald. A little too high for him. And Forest under a bit of pressure there, but... Uh, and making some more of it uh, themselves here as McDonald takes that uh, short ball there from Powling. Rice playing it in for McDonald again. Nice dummy, trying to use his strength. And O'Neill getting it away to Robertson. Willie Young. High into the director's box. Peter with a tremendous season. Five goals from four games. And Ross getting it away to McDonald. He's up on his own, and Anderson, the young fullback, getting in very quickly there, but uh, I'm sure the referee blew his whistle there for a free kick, but it's a throw. Brady stopping it along the line for Nelson. Oh, what a good ball there if Brooks can get onto it, but uh, Larry Lloyd was there for Forrest. Scott has been waiting uh, to allow someone else into the throw. There's Kenny Burns with Martin O'Neill of Forrest also. Nelson with the throw. Brady. Nelson again. Chipped in there towards McDonald. There's his header! Stapleton who's running away it was Stapleton and McDonald who went up together but there's not a doubt in anybody's mind that it was a good goal for Arsenal that puts them 1-0 into the lead with just over three minutes gone John Stapleton playing his first game at Highbury beaten and now we shall see what Forrest are made of the long cross came uh, slanting in McDonald and Stapleton went up together and it floated beyond the Forest keeper into the back of the net Well, it was Stapleton who went charging away, and clearly it was he then who got the decisive touch, and not McDonald. <laughs> Ricks, and McDonald after this one. Oh, and Middleton made a mess of that. then with the corner deep again towards McDonald oh just wide there from number four Richie Powling but it was nodded back by McDonald there for Powling great volley and wide of the forest goal now with Robertson Woodcock well showing a bit of his pace there but O'Leary stayed well with him. Clearly, it's David O'Leary's job to watch uh, Woodcock. And Willie Young, in the meantime, taking Peter Wolf. Brady on the edge of his own box. Well, there was a handball, presumably, there by uh, Harry Lloyd. from Pat Rice to Graham Ricks, taken nicely on his body. Nelson into the path of Brady. Ricks. Oh, look about that for a bit of score. 
On the edge of the box, Powling. Well, that didn't uh, quite come off. The idea was a very good one. He was trying to slice that with the outside of his right foot. But uh, what a lovely jinking run that was by young Graham Ricks. And the pass that uh, gave just that half chance for Powling. Trevor Ross and he didn't really get much power behind it so David O'Leary up this time and Willie Young also there's the corner going in oh and headed off the line by Anderson knocked away that time by Bowyer now the free kick from Nottingham Forest the foul by Nelson on Woodcock and really some acrobatic defense there by the big number two Viv Anderson heading that uh, header off the Nottingham Forest line Now it's Robertson for Nottingham Forest. Trying to tempt Rice into a mistake, hitting it low across the goal, and Jennings down very quickly, deflected off an Arsenal defender, and put it behind for the Nottingham Forest corner. <laughs> Arsenal pulled everybody, bar none, back into their penalty area. That's got to be almost as crowded in there now as the terraces are. Jennings with a good safe catch. Well, his side might be down, but they're usually a side of fighters and battlers when Brian Clough's around, so they're by no means out of it yet. Certainly there's been no sign of Nottingham Forest's heads going down, even though they suffered that early blow. Tony Woodcock. It's Anderson through to uh, Woodcock. McGovern playing it wide to Robertson. Could be interesting. Played there for McGovern. Oh, that was a poor shot by McGovern. That was a better one and it wasn't far. Well, it was a bad first shot that uh, John McGovern uh, played in, but it was a little fortunate one to find it uh, coming back to him, but when he did. He really lashed the second one, but it was always just that little bit too hot. And Rice, killing that well, playing it on first time there towards Trevor Ross. And that's going to be a corner for Arsenal. <laughs> Young up there again as a disruptive element. There he is, number six. Ricks with the corner. And Young with the header. Knocked off the line that time by Kenny Burns. Very young again getting up well there. Oh, and Pat Rice springing from the back. It's the second time defenders have got balls off the line for Nottingham Forest. First it was Anderson, and this time it was Kenny Burns as Willie Young got up so well from that corner. Clark. There's the half-time. Brian Clough goes down the tunnel, perhaps to find a few well-chosen words, although his side have composed themselves well after that early shock when Arsenal scored after three minutes, presumably through Frank Stapleton, although Stapleton and McDonald both went for that same ball. But it was uh, the goal that separates the two sides after 45 minutes. Half-time score then at Highbury. Arsenal 1, Nottingham Forest 0. Welcome back to Highbury. Arsenal starting this second half, leading by a goal to nil, but it's Nottingham Forest who kick off. 
in the all yellow strip attacking the goal to our left not really the happiest of hunting grounds for Forest. they've won here only once in the last 18 visits that was in 1964-65 that's going right back to 1922 one win here Larry Lloyd Sammy Nelson Arsenal with uh, having won both their previous home games this season against Everton and in the League Cup against Manchester United Separated by Frank Stapleton's goal, number 10. And here's O'Leary. McDonald, Brady. Rifling in a left foot shot, and Middleton swinging across his goal. In fact, it uh, finished up uh, three or four yards wide. Clark to Robertson. Woodcock being policed there by O'Leary. Oh, between his legs. Oh, and O'Leary winning it well. That's a beautiful ball by O'Leary. Stapleton is free. Oh, smacked it against Middleton, who couldn't get his hands to it. And McDonald, the ball bobbling just as he was about to hit it, but the whistle had gone and Stapleton's gone down. But what a ball that was from David O'Leary. What a brilliant uh, young player he is. Right into the path of Frank Stapleton. And from the edge of the box, Stapleton let fly. Middleton, it must have moved a bit in the air off Middleton's chest. And McDonald made the real hash of the rebound. But it's a free kick on the edge of the box. I think it might have been for a foul by Kenny Burns on Frank Stapleton as he uh, shot. Now, can Arsenal make something of this? Four, five men in the wall, including Powling, and there's a bit of kicking going on in that wall between Powling and Burns. Brady chipping it. And there was a bit of something going on there, as you saw there. Well, as we see again there, Kenny Burns on Richie Powling, a butt. Powling to Stapleton. Oh. Very severe challenge indeed there by Kenny Burns. Came in from an angle that I couldn't see, but obviously Ron Chalice did see something. And he must have been high on the Arsenal player then. Sharp talking to, and a free kick. Which Brady will take for Arsenal. In again there towards Willie Young. Now McDonald with a free header over the top goal. Ball just wouldn't come down quickly enough there for Malcolm McDonald after Willie Young had uh, again disrupted that to Nottingham Forest defence and the ball falling to an unmarked Malcolm McDonald. But over the top. Clark. Young beating it in the air. Robertson. Very quickly there, but Sammy Nelson now. Woodcock with the shot and a good save by Pat Jennings. And O'Neill is in there and Jennings diving to save his life and his goal again. And they very nearly gave the lot away there, Arsenal. It was a bad mistake there by Sammy Nelson. And Forrest were on it like a flash. Jennings made a good save. Only half got it away and as O'Neill came in on the far side, Jennings had to save a goal. Ross, now McDonald. Well, he's gone past the challenge of Kenny Burns, and he's after Anderson, and Anderson knows where it's safe. Good run here by Sammy Nelson, and he gets a corner.
Trevor Ross with the corner for Arsenal. Oh, it's in there! Stapleton's put another one in! Well, that was unbelievable. So, a smiling Irishman from an impossible angle, the corner from Trevor Ross, nodded out by Nottingham Forest, and he must have been standing almost on the byline, Frank Stapleton, and he rocketed it past to Middleton for number two. Arsenal two, Nottingham Forest nil, both of them down to Frank Stapleton. for Arsenal. Nelson. Brady. Stapleton's on the ground. I don't know how he got there. And the linesman on this side flagging. He saw something that I didn't see and the referee didn't see either because it happened away off the ball. The linesman here with the yellow flag, Mr. Previtt of New Malden. Chalice left with a decision to make. What's he going to do? The Arsenal players are pointing to the penalty box. They feel that if there was an infringement, it was inside the penalty area. He's having a word with Kenny Burns. And he's going to be booked, I think. A look of innocence on the face of Kenny Burns, but he did not, whatever it was, escape the eagle eye of the linesman with the yellow flag. His name will go into the book. And the yellow card. Now, what happens now? Well, there's got to be a penalty. And it is a penalty. Well, a mysterious infringement, but a clear cut decision. And a chance now for Arsenal to go 3 0 up. Liam Brady, who's had a brilliant game, with a chance now of getting that third Arsenal goal. And it's 3 0. Taken by the little 
Irishman with great confidence. Never a moment of doubt in his mind that he was going to score. And that's 3-0. Well, this isn't the afternoon that Nottingham Forest wanted. Mind you, it started off badly for them when they arrived in London and there was no coach at the station to meet them and they had to hurriedly hire a fleet of taxis to bring them to the ground. A goal down in three minutes. And now two more in the second half. Two goals to Stapledon, a penalty by Brady. And a yellow card for Kenny Burns. Now Woodcock. And they save something for the day. Bowyer coming in. Oh, and he hit the post. Nothing is going right for those two gentlemen this afternoon. And it looked as though at least there was a chance of a goal there. As Bowyer hit it and hit it well, but it cannoned off that Arsenal post. It'll come for McDonald. The touch will go to Stapleton. Ross waiting in the middle. And McDonald's gone in there too. And Stapleton lost his chance really of crossing that, and now he's got to get rid of uh, O'Neill as well. And it's a corner. <laughs> so Frank Clark, great old campaigner, going off. And Colin Barrett, who used to play for Manchester City, a fullback coming on. to Sammy Nelson. That's a goal kick. Clough and uh, Brian Clough and Peter Taylor deep in conversation there. I should think they've learnt one or two things, or their team have certainly, about first division football this afternoon. It's a forest free kick. Well, he had the legs of Willie Young there, but uh, David O'Leary doing a good, solid job at the back again for Arsenal. Woodcock trying to come away from O'Leary this time. Kept control well. Kenny Burns. Harling played it just a little too close to Burns when he hoped to get O'Brady away, get to Liam Brady away. Robertson nicking it in there for Boyer. Back again for Woodcock. Oh, and a tremendous... Piece of goalkeeping there by Pat Jennings. It was a lovely one too, though, mind you. And Tony Woodcock shaking his head in astonishment. A lovely one too there, and it eventually reached Woodcock, staring straight at Pat Jennings. He volleyed at him, and somehow it hit Jennings on the body and went away to safety. Stapleton taking a nice deal knock in the back. players on the field a moment or two longer. I think uh, one chalice was just about to blow his whistle then. I think he's probably telling Frank Stapleton, look, uh, hold on a sec. Once his free kick's taken, I'm going to blow the final whistle. And then we can all go home. Look at the watch again. Whistle in the mouth. Final whistle. First defeat of the season for Nottingham Forest. Well beaten by Arsenal. Liam Brady, who scored the third Arsenal goal from the penalty spot and played really as well as anybody. A hobbling Frank Stapledon, who got Arsenal off to a brilliant start with a goal after three minutes. And then a second one in the second half. Well, a lesson for Nottingham Forest and three successive wins at home for Arsenal so far this season. Full-time scoreline, Arsenal three, Nottingham Forest nil. I hope you've enjoyed our latest instalment of Sport Classics. Join us again for another trip through the archives.